Hi, welcome to Rose Opal Knits, our knitting and crafting podcast. I'm Daphne. And I'm Erica. And this is episode 16. 16. <laughs> so hello and welcome. Welcome back to all um, of our regular viewers and subscribers. We appreciate you so much and uh, look forward to um, interacting with you every time we shoot a new video. And if you're new here, we um, hope you stick around and you like what you see. So we're going to go ahead and jump in. It's been th three weeks since our last podcast. We had an extra week because Daphne went on vacation with the kids to see family. And um, so we're going to start like we usually do with finished objects. And um, put my remote down. <laughs> you so, want me to start? Yeah, you go okay. ahead and start. So... One of them I don't have because it was a gift to my uncle that we were staying with and it was a pair of vanilla socks and it was actually a worsted weight yarn. So this is the yarn that I had and this yarn was actually used for Mason's baby blanket. It's um, Karen Big Cakes and it's the tiramisu color. Right? Well, it's like soft striping yarn. Mm -hmm. But anyways, so there were more strips to it. There's a light gray and a dark and the dark gray and then it goes to white. But... We're going to pop in a picture, so it may have already been up, or it may be getting ready to go on, but <laughs> you should see a picture of them. But I didn't, okay, so the socks aren't exactly perfect, but it's hand knit, so. What do you mean by perfect? So, do they not the match? The don't match. Oh, well, that's fine. But I call them the mountain socks, because one of them went from the light gray to the dark gray to the white, so it looked like a mountain top. Oh, with yeah, this yeah. no on uh -huh. top. Yeah, on the, the other one, I miscalculated how much of the light gray yarn I should have used. So it has a bigger light gray section. And well, there's just more snowfall on that mountain. There's no snowfall on the other one. Oh, oh. <laughs> <laughs> but he was fine with it. And they fit him perfectly. Because I didn't, I went up to the toe and didn't knit the toe well before I got there. And once he got there, once we got there, he tried it on, and it was like, perfect time to stop. Toe needed to go in right then and there. So, but this is the yarn I used. And, like I said, it was just leftover from Mason's baby blanket. Mm -hmm. So, yeah. And you want to talk about yours? No, um, you just talk about, because you, oh, okay. you gave away two pairs of socks yeah, while you were I there. also gave a pair to my aunt, who... We were staying with her too, obviously. Your aunt and but yeah. <laughs> anyway, so I made her the exact same pair of socks, which are the Shag Carpet Shorties. So that's your. You've made three pairs of those. Yes. Yeah, I've made three pairs. One was for my sister, one was for me, and one was for my aunt. Because I asked my uncle what kind of color she likes, and he said anything bright. So the only difference with her was the heel. I did the slip stitch heel, so mine's just plain. But hers did have the slip stitch. And I made them before we even got there. And we wear the same exact size. Her foot is just a little bit more narrow than mine. So the slip stitch heel actually made it fit perfectly for her too. So, oh, that's good. Yeah. yeah. Uh -huh. So I had her try on both of them just in case she didn't like how tight the slip stitch was mm -hmm. on. So she she liked the slip stitch because it like, fit her foot perfectly, she said. That's good. So. Mm hmm so they looked like that with a slip yep. shield. Right. Exact same. Uh -huh. But that was the first time I got the pattern completely right because <laughs> on this one, I like remember I said, we discussed that. The, the one little tiny cable at the very end, I had my cable needle in my mouth and I missed my slip, my cross, cross right cross there. there. Mm -hmm. But hers were perfect. So oh, that's good. Three <laughs> times the charm. Is that the saying? I don't even know. <laughs> Third time's the charm. Yeah, something like that. <laughs> But yeah, so oh. I think this is like one of my favorite sock patterns. Yeah. yeah so. mm -hmm. And this is like some of my favorite yarn. Mm -hmm. so. That's Noble Character Crafts. It's um, Fall Which she no longer. I think, right? It's, no, that's, it's it? Fall Y'all was Molly Klein. Oh, okay. Yes, uh -huh. I don't, I don't remember what that one's called. Because she names them that's after um, a, a biblical, a bib, biblical word. Yeah, mm -hmm. I think mm -hmm. usually from the. It's plenty. Is it? Is it's plenty. It is? Yeah, usually they're from. I don't know if it's Proverbs or the Psalms. I don't know. But anyway, <laughs> all the information will be in the um, box below the video. So my, I only have one finished object and it's cross stitch. And you have not seen this at all because I started it after our last video. So here it is. And I have to fully finish it. 
I have an idea of what I'm going to do, but I haven't got all the supplies yet to fully finish it. So I made a couple of changes. Yeah, oh, okay. Thanks. Um, I'll show you what it should look like if you, oh, there. So a couple of changes I made. Um, the fence, it should be this um, whiter color around the windows and the door. Um, and I use like a brown for like a non-painted fence. But I also, and then the words should be the orange of the pumpkins, but I just went ahead and used that brown in there as well. And in the picture here, I'm going to show it one more time. On the fence, there are two crows or ravens or whatever. I just left those off and added um, an extra leaf. Just because to me, they I don't know, they kind of just look like little blobs. It, it might have looked better. Yeah, if I, I think it just them. looks a little like blown out in the actual picture. I'm yeah, there. I mean, it probably they probably would have looked, but I I wasn't committed to the birds. I like leaves for fall, so I just went ahead and added um, extra leaves in there. Um, and so I used all the called for colors except, and it's not even here. I switched out. For the here, for the roof, like the this dark brown, I just use a DMC. I think it was DMC eight thirty eight, and of course I told you I switched out this wooden color here. And the reason I, the main reason I did that, because while it shows up on the house around you know the red and the dark brown, it was not showing up on this fabric because this is not the um, called for fabric. The called for fabric was not and so I couldn't find it in stock anywhere. So I just got a 28 count mushroom Lugana and um, it, you couldn't see it on it. So I had to, to make a different choice there. But I'm really happy with it and I think it's gonna look good. And I will put all the colors that I used in the information box below. So that's that. That's all my finish off. <laughs> <laughs> All right, so we're gonna work. We're gonna move into works in progress, and I have two knitting, one cross stitch, and you have three, technically four. Okay, oh. so you go first then. <laughs> okay, we'll start with a big one. So I'm making this huge cardigan. It's not even huge. The yarn is just super bulky. But anyway, so this is the elf cardigan. I forget who it's by, but you can see my needles at the bottom too. Mm -hmm. I'll hold it. <laughs> but I'll show you the yarn. This is Mayan's brand Thick and Wool Ease Thick and Quick. Okay. And it's called, it's the eggplant color. So I started this a while ago. The last time I showed it, I think I was like, I don't think I had separated for the sleeves yet. So this is the sleeve. It's kind of hard to see because it's a little dark. But, so, a couple inches, and I'm almost to the bottom ribbing, and I think this is only a one size pattern, but I could be wrong. I didn't look at the pattern again, but it's on, these are on a US 19, which is a 15 millimeter needle. And I forgot the double points again. Oh, yeah. I keep meaning they're to bring so them funny up. Looking, the double they're points. huge, like. <laughs> They're so short, but they're like so big. But anyway, so it's just a, right now I'm just doing garter stitch. And then this is just a one by one rib and then garter stitch. And then the sleeves end up being stockinette because they're knit in the round too. So. But the pattern doesn't tell you to knit and purl for the sleeves to make it nope. garter? Okay. Nope. So that's just a design it's feature. It, yeah. It's stockinette. Okay, cool. But yeah, so. It's going to be cozy. Very about it. It's. It's Very actually soft. really airy. Mm -hmm. Like you can, I can stick my fingers through it mm -hmm. if I wanted to. I'm not going to. I could but too. Mm -hmm. Yeah. So it's a that's really color. soft, and I'm super Pretty excited purple. for it. it is it's soft. also, um, I generally wear longer cardigans, but this one's more like a bomber kind of jacket style. Oh, okay. So it ends right at your waistline. So. That's why I'm saying it's almost done. And Are I you don't gonna think... need to go down a needle size for the ribbing? Yeah, or... the needle the ribbing is on a US thirteen. Okay. And those aren't the called for needles in the pattern. I think that's 
what I met Gage with. Oh. Or that's just the fabric I decided I liked. Okay. I don't remember. But I don't think they used the size 19. <laughs> I think they used a 15 in the needle, in the pattern. Oh, but. okay. Yeah, you said you got Gage, though, with whatever needle you were using. Yeah. Uh-huh. And I just have the size 19 needles in my yarn, in my needle oh, collection. Oh, okay. Yeah, I don't have one that size. That's I a... think, I also have one bigger than that. That's gigantic. I have one bigger than that, too. That's my, uh-huh. like... Those are big needles. Uh, yeah, and I, have, yeah. I think I have two sizes bigger, too. Really? I think I have another size that's a little bit bigger, and I have one that's, like, huge. Huh. I was making something for the end of my bed. That, oh, yeah, that yeah, that little. <laughs> well, it didn't even call for those needles. I decided on them. But. All right, so I will show this first. So I said I was going to cast this on um, during our last video. And I don't have a whole lot knit, but it is the um, Rhymebeck is calling mitt, fingerless mitts by Kay Litton of the Crazy Sock Lady. So that's how much I have done so far. There's like a lacy, like an easy lace pattern on the front. And um, that's like one color repeat right there. <laughs> and um, the yarn I am using is this Nomadic Yarns in the Jenny Weasley colorway. So this is the trusty sock base, 75% superwash merino and 25% nylon. And I love the colors. So, but that's all. I, have, I haven't been spending the majority of my crafting time on knitting. <laughs> I've been cross-stitching cross instead. But, so, and I'm keeping this in my bag by uh, Noble Character Crafts bag that I love so much. All right. That's all I'm going to say about that for now. <laughs> not very exciting. I mean, it is exciting to me, but I'm looking forward to having them finished, but there's not a whole lot to show. <laughs> okay. So I have more socks. That's all my other whip right now. But this, this is the back. So this is actually the heel flap. But this is a pair of socks for Holden. And I'm actually super excited to be making him a pair of socks. I don't know why. But this is Patton's Croy in Wilderness. Well, hold on. I don't know where the color is. Woodsy. I keep <laughs> saying wood, Wilderness, uh-huh. and it's not. It's Woodsy. <laughs> but anyways, I think it's super cool. It is a nice Cause color. Because it kind of like fades into the brown. I mean the brown. The green. From the brown to the green. Yeah. yeah. Uh-huh. But they're just going to be shorties, and they're just plain vanilla socks. You're probably excited to make him socks because you didn't think you were ever going to. I know. Because <laughs> he doesn't like socks. Yeah. But he has to wear them, so. <laughs> but yeah, so these are his socks. And I bought two balls of the patent Croy, so I think it's just going to take up the whole ball of yarn. Oh, I bet it will. And I'm He's hoping... Like, where is he wears a 13. size 13, yeah. and he's got wide block feet. Yeah, he does. <laughs> does have wide block so feet. So does Mason, though. So yeah. when I make Mason socks, they're going to be short, but, like, wide. Mm-hmm. That's funny. But, yeah, so, and that's, that's how far I am. Mm-hmm. I'm holding up way too high. But, so I'm hoping that this is enough to cover his foot. It's, well, you could always change out the toe, though. But, yeah, so if not, I don't know what I'm going to do. Because, I mean, this is already getting flat, so I think I have enough. You could probably just buy more balls of it. Yeah. Yeah. I could do a different toe color. Yeah. I don't know. Or half a foot to the toe. <laughs> That's what I did with mine, but I like them. Yeah. <laughs> yeah, I did funny, I've done funny, you know, color combinations Hold in my Hold of the sock, did I tell you? No. <laughs> it was just like, that looked funny. I was like, whatever, I like them. Yeah. <laughs> So he didn't even really make fun of them, but yeah, whatever. Yeah, they looked funny. Yeah. Okay, so I will show this project. This is my Sunset Highway, and I knit, I worked on a sleeve. And I had said in the last video that I was going to cast on another sweater with um, newer yarn that I had purchased for like a summer tee, but then I just told myself, that I couldn't cast on another sweater while my Sunset Highway was just sitting there. So that's why I decided to work on this. And this is where I was the last time I showed it. So I am in the color work section 
on the sleeve and I tried it on this morning so I have it I have two needles here I'm not I'm only knitting it with a nine inch circular but um, but yeah so I'm really happy I love this color I really like that color and um, I'll show you the colors in a minute although I mean if you watch the podcast podcast regularly you've seen it before but this <laughs> is the yoga the sweater and then my other sleeve on hold and you know and I have it on multiple cords here because <laughs> I tried it on but so, um, let, I'll show you the colors real quick. She's starting to drop all her stuff. Yeah, I always drop my stuff. So, the color on the sleeve that I said I like so much is this um, Willow Tree yarn on the Royal Base. It's an 8515 uh, Superwash Merino and Nylon Base. And the color is Vintage Blooms. And it just, I think it looks really pretty knit up. I'll show it one more time. <laughs> and, um, and then, let's see, this is one of the contrast colors. And this is, um, I should have these memorized by now, <laughs> but I don't. Um, Queen City Yarn. It's their Queens Road MCN base, so it's 80% Superwash Merino, 10% Cashmere, 10% Nylon, and the color is French Roast. And this is the main body color, which is just like a, you know, off-white. And it is Dale Baby Ool, Dale Garn. So, yeah. And... There is a another color, but I'm not using that currently. And it is another willow tree yarn color on the same base. And here it is. <laughs> I can't find the tag for it, but I've mentioned it before. You've heard all about it if you've watched the podcast before. And the information will be in the box below. So hope to have this sleeve done and this sleeve at least having been worked on by the next time we record <laughs> say those things out loud and then they don't happen but <laughs> we'll try to make them happen all right okay so I bought this yarn while I was in Alabama so you guys haven't seen it yet and it's very bright. It is not for me. <laughs> but anyway, so my cousin, he asked me to make him a pair of socks too. And he wanted the same pair that I gave, like the same design I gave my aunt to the shag carpet shorties again. But he, he likes colors, a lot of colors. So when we were talking about them, he said he wanted a pair of socks with four different colors. Don't know why he wanted four different colors, but you can see all my ends. This is the first time I'm doing a sock with contrasting heels. Oh, okay. And this cuffs. is a heel yeah. cuff and toes. It's gonna have blue toes too. Oh, okay. But anyway, so this is the start of it. And um I went with the pattern counts because the shag carpet shorties is actually for a DK weight yarn and I'm using a worsted weight yarn mm -hmm. so it actually it will actually fit his foot with doing that but you want did you go with the same needle size too or did you go up a needle size no I went up a needle size up too. a needle size okay but up the a same, needle size but the same, same count numbers. so I don't okay. have to do any math while uh -huh. I was doing it so oh, yeah. and that's there cotton yarn right this is cotton he yes. wanted cotton socks yep. yep he he chose the yarn after like I picked out yarn and he really loved all these colors so these are the first two colors that are going with the socks I don't know if they actually have colors I didn't look at this before this is turquoise flamingo splash <laughs> and so I'm actually making him four socks if if the yarn lets me but I think it will but anyways so this is the first sock with those colors but then my yarn's all tangled around it and the ends. Mm -hmm. But anyways, yeah, it. so the uh, next sock is going to be the same colors, but the heels, toes, and cuffs are going to be the pink, and then the rest of the foot is going to be blue. 
Okay, so the, ma the gonna, match to this is going to be, be flipped. flipped. Okay. But then I have two more colors because he said he wanted four colors. And so you're knitting him two pairs. I'm knitting two pairs, but he can mix and match however he pleases. Gotcha. They're all going to be the same, like, same exact thing, just different colors. So the other two colors are aquamarine speckles. Yeah, sorry. <laughs> and then violet slash. So they're going to be the same idea with these two colors. Mm-hmm. So. That'll be fun. Yeah. So these are all the colors all together. They feel good. I, I wonder how cotton socks will wear. I think it'll be fine because I mean like, I don't, I don't think he's planning to wear these as like everyday socks. Yeah. I think they're just meant to be like comfy socks. Yeah. But I don't know. He's excited about them. I showed him the colors and he's like, those ones. Because, like, I'll show you the rest of the yarn, too, in a minute that I got while I was there. And he could decide between anything. But then I asked him what his favorite colors were. And then I felt the need to get his favorite colors. And then I went back to the house and I was like, or you can have this and I'll make them all different colors. And you can have four different socks. He's like, that one. I was like, okay. <laughs> he was so indecisive about the rest of the stuff. So, <laughs> it's just his sock That's stuff funny. right now. And it's a mess. So... I feel like we're out of practice. You I feel like my sock stuff's a mess. My <laughs> socks don't normally look a mess like that. <laughs> we take an extra week off and it's like, we forget how to... I shook the camera. There. Okay, so this is my current cross-stitch whip. This is the pattern um, Coffee First by Gender, uh, Gender. Brenda Gervais uh, with Eye Needle and Thread. Um, I'll hold that closer. Maybe you can see it better. So, I changed all the colors. See, I think the only color that I am using that is charted is the brown for the coffee beans. And that's it. But everything else I switched. And this fabric, here, I'll hold it back here so you can see this, um, is a 28 count even weave by Charles Craft. Um, that was an antique white and I writ dyed it with three different colors um, a blue a green and a gray so you can see here I'll oh, that now. you can see it has some like modeling I guess is what they call that but this part of the fabric won't be in you know in the just be this area here and um, <laughs> I'm resting it on Debbie's lap. And these are the colors that I'm using. I'm not going to, to tell you them now. <laughs> They're sure. all twisted. Um, <laughs> because I've already changed my mind a couple times. So these might not stay. But here they are for right now. <laughs> and I'll show you one more time. There you go. <laughs> And I didn't want to take it out of my scroll frame because I have a, it's a cheap scroll frame and it's kind of hard to get fabric in and out of it. But, um, so, you have more socks? Yes, technically. <laughs> but anyway, so I started this on the drive home. Oh, I don't even remember what yarn this is. Um, it's one that I bought at Yarn Maven. Mm -hmm. Anyways. Yeah, I don't remember what it's called, but. It'll be in the information. Yeah. Anyways, that's how far I got. But the only reason, so I started it on the ride home because we drove. So it was like a 14 hour drive roughly with stopping and everything. So I started it and I was like, I don't know what to do. I don't want to just have another plain vanilla pair of socks. So I stopped. It's boring. <laughs> <laughs> but... Like, I didn't want to use all my phone battery because I also left my phone charger at my oh, own uncle's house. Yeah. But it was one of the ones that didn't really work anyways, so it was fine. But I didn't realize that until like an hour into the trip. And I was like, well then. So, <laughs> I couldn't look up a pattern. So, yeah, this is how far my sock is until I find a pattern that I want to use. Mm -hmm. So, that's all. <laughs> 
All right, so those are all of our works in progress. So now we've got a little bit, well, she has more than a little well, bit. Well, I have this too. Oh, that's right, talk yeah. about that. So, mm -hmm. I did not only work on socks, this and that one part again, but I did actually work on the turtle dove, but it didn't turn out. I was knitting it, and while I was there, I was like, I'm gonna rip this back, because I was gonna fold down the collar, and the collar was a little tight, but it still fit. But it like if I stitched it together to hold it down, it wasn't gonna go over my head anymore. And also when I tried it on, it kept bunching up like really bad. So it looked like I had like a pocket right here. Mm -hmm. So I ripped it out. So this is all my yarn. All my yarn. So now the turtle dove is back in cakes. Yeah. Well, it was never in cakes. It's in, it was always in like this. Oh, oh, so now it's in cakes. <laughs> but, so it was three balls in. I only have five balls. Yeah. So, <laughs> that's how much progress I had. I was almost to the bottom ribbing. Well, but I kept working on it because I didn't, like, I didn't want to start something new. So I kept working on it anyway. Yeah. <laughs> well, I was there. But anyway, so this is the yarn. If anyone forgot, I can, it's going to glitter. But yeah, so, and it's just 75% acrylic, 22% wool, and then 3% rayon, so, mm -hmm. and it's a tweed, because I really, I really wanted a tweed sweater. Mm -hmm. So, but you're going to cast it back on as a I'm going to cast it back on. The only Are you going to go up a needle size? I'm or? not going up a needle size on all of it. I'm only going up a needle size on the collar. Oh, okay. To hope. Like, hope. I think it's just because it was a twisted rib and I had never done twisted rib before. Mm -hmm. But I'm going to do it on a side. Sorry about that interruption. Um, so, are you done talking about your turtle dove or did you have more you wanted to say? Or? I think that's all. Okay. <laughs> I think that was it. Um, but yeah, the only difference is going to be the collar size because the needle size because I knit ribbing tighter, I think. Okay. So, and plus it's twisted rib and I had never done that before, so I think it was just the collar. Yeah. Messing up and making it bunch right there. Couldn't think of my words. Mm. But yeah. We'll see. Alright, so for my purchase oh wait, no, you have more purchases. <laughs> oh my goodness. <laughs> okay, well I already showed some of it, but went to a yarn store. Because, I mean, how can you not go to a different state and not go to a yarn store? Plus, it was only 10 minutes from my uncle's house. So, I bought all this yarn. And so, the idea was either to buy more sock yarn or buy... A sweater's quantity. A sweater's quantity to make another weekender. Because mm -hmm. I like that sweater. But, I walked around and I, I, went, I took a lap around the store and then I decided... And I decided on socks, if you guys couldn't tell. But, so, I'll start with the DKs. I got three DKs. And these two are the same brand, which is the Fiber Seed. And it is Sprout DK, is what it's called. I think that's the base. Pretty sure. But, this one is Egg Corn. And then... They put a sticker over it. Okay, hold it. Oh, that's cute. This is where the sidewalk ends. That's like one of my favorite. It's like a poem book that uh -huh. you could always check out in yeah. the library. Uh huh. I didn't realize that, but I just liked them for the colors. So, what? It wasn't it like Shell Silverstein or something with the author. Oh, I don't know. Okay. <laughs> I just remember the book. But anyway, so those are the same brand. And this I one. probably yeah. just made that, mixed it up with something else. But yeah, I think they're pretty. They're they are nice. very pretty. Mm -hmm. And then this is my other one. This is also DK. So, well, I didn't actually tell you the base. Hold on, let's go back to these ones. Because <laughs> these are 90% superwash merino and 10% nylon. Both of them are. So. In case you were wondering. And then this one. Um, I don't know what I was going to say about this one, actually. <laughs> What's the name of it? 
Mm. Ancient art jar. Here. I'm bad at this sometimes. It says it's metal soft. I think that's the what they call that DK. Yeah. So it's 68% superwash fine merino and 32% nettle. It says it's lot number 17475, but it, it doesn't really have a color. It doesn't have a color. It doesn't even have like hmm. color number. It just has the lot number. Mm-hmm. Which is a little weird, but hmm. It says it says AA nettle DK. <laughs> oh, ancient arts, I guess. AA. <laughs> <laughs> Oh, yeah. no, that's funny. There's no color. Hmm. And the lot is, like, handwritten, too, so it's not... Mm -hmm. I don't know. It says it's made in Italy. I don't know, but it was pretty, okay? <laughs> it is pretty. So... You know what that makes me think of? It makes me think of, um... The Hunger Games. <laughs> you know, the girl on fire. <laughs> It gets a little darker under the tag, too. Mm -hmm. <laughs> but anyways, and then the two fingering weights are these two. So this one is knitted with, yeah, sock. And it is, I'm trying to see, I don't know. Okay, anyways, so it doesn't really have a base name. It's just 80% superwash merino and then 20% nylon. And it's the quarter, yeah, color. And this is actually the first one that I saw, and I was like, oh, I'm making socks instead. Mm -hmm. So, don't know why. It's also more blue under the tag. Mm -hmm. So. It looks, it's like, like a, like a blue-purple. Yeah. It's pretty. I don't know. It was really pretty, mm -hmm. and I felt like I needed to have it. Like, this was the first one I found, and then this one was the second one, and then these two. This, this wasn't really in any sort of order, but. And then this was the last one. I just thought, and this was actually my mom's decision. I gave her like four or five options, and this is the one she chose. And it is dream color, dream in color, I think is what it. Dream oh, color to, to life, life. mushy with cashmere. So mm -hmm. I wanted a darker, colorful one. So what anyway. color is that one called? It just says pop up. Skin Club December 2018. So I don't think it actually has like a color name. Oh, okay. But it's 70% superwash merino, 20% cashmere, and then 10% nylon. Mm -hmm. So Pretty. There. So you'll see more socks. But I gotta find more sock patterns. I was trying to get the book 52 Weeks of Socks. But our yarn store was Sounds out of bad. stock yeah. for right now, so I can't get it. <laughs> so as far as uh, my purchases, I've ordered four cuts of linen fabric for cross stitching. I'm not going to show you because <laughs> they're just pieces of fabric. But I also got my second and last knit crate box, if you'll remember how <laughs> I I accidentally got charged for two knit crate spots because I forgot to go into my account and put it on hold again. So, this is the booklet that came in the box. Colors are pretty on the booklet. And this is what I got. Very pretty. Kind of similar to the color that's in your um, sock yarn there. The extra for that month was, I don't remember what this is called. Though. Is that a Tunisian crochet hook? Yeah, I think so. I think that's what it is. And it is a J hook. <laughs> yeah, so that's like the free, <laughs> the free gift or whatever. And then this is the yarn. Sorry, I didn't move something on it. <laughs> and it is the URU yarn by Knit Crate, Cotton Basic, and the colorway is called Stardust, and it's 100% organic Pima cotton, DK weight. So, I don't know what I'm going to do with it yet, but it feels kind of too nice to make dishcloths out of. <laughs> so, 
so I probably won't do that. But um, but I'll figure it out. It can just sit in my stash. I only have a small stash. You know? It's not very huge. I have a pretty big stash. So I can sit in that for a little bit until I figure out what I'm going to do with it. But so that's everything. And um, we. Um, mm -hmm. <laughs> With the kids and I are back to doing schoolwork because I homeschooled. So we started on August 3rd and um, we've had quite a lot of rain. We had a tropical storm come through. Thankfully, um, we just had a little bit of, a little tiny bit of water in the basement, but it didn't really <laughs> affect anything. Um, quite a few areas in the state of Delaware got hit bad. So we were very um, lucky, you know, that we didn't get anything worse than that. But um, other than that, we're both doing all right. Paisley's getting big. Yes, she's got little arm rolls on her thigh. Like the she's cutest. got the little rolls on her thighs. The cutest arm <laughs> rolls, so cute. We'll have to bring her back on maybe next time so everybody can see how she's grown. And um, so looking forward to, well, I was gonna say looking forward to fall, but I am looking forward to fall, but I don't want the summer to be gone either, so. I don't know. I'm over summer. But then again, I don't really like summer that much, okay? I prefer the colder months. Okay. So, yeah. yeah. <laughs> All right. Well, um, we've been um, discussing ideas for another knit along or craft along. So maybe. Wouldn't it just be called make along? Make, make along. <laughs> Whatever. Um, well, we so, got to figure out the details. The details. Before we can actually yeah. announce it. So maybe the next video. Yeah. We will. The but next one is actually going to be in two weeks. Again. Two weeks, yeah, because we're yeah. going to get back to the two weeks schedule from this one. Yep. So. All right. Well, thank you so much for watching us, and um, we'll see you in two weeks. Bye. Bye.